Welcome back, friends. Today we are going to paint an elephant. The colors you're gonna need are yellow, green, blue, purple, white, and black. First, we're gonna paint our background. So we're gonna start with a yellow and a green up here and it's gonna pull on down into a black color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take yellow, I'm gonna paint the whole top of my canvas with this yellow color. About two to three inches at the top yellow. While keeping my brush still dirty, I'm going to grab green paint and I'm gonna skip a little bit of space right here and add about two to three inches of green paint. Then I'm gonna wipe my brush off. And with that medium flat brush, I'm gonna take yellow paint and I'm gonna pull it down into that green paint. I'm gonna pull that green up into that yellow paint. Pull it back down. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to blend these colors together seamlessly and have a nice gray from the yellow down into the green. I'm gonna wipe that brush off with my rag. And I'm gonna grab more yellow paint on my brush. And this time I'm gonna do my final lines. So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna pull that brush line across the top back and forth, all the way down to the bottom of the green. Wash that brush off, dry that brush off, and I'm gonna paint the entire bottom of my canvas black. I'm gonna take this black and I'm gonna gently blend it into that green. So I'm gonna take some water and water it on my black paint just a little bit. I'm gonna go right here along this edge as close as I can. That watered down paint. And I'm gonna run it along this edge just a few times to kind of fill it in. Pull that black up just a little bit. Pull that green down a little bit. I'm going to let this background dry, and when it's dry, we will add in our elephant. Now that our background's dry, let's lay out where we're gonna put our elephant. I'm gonna use just white paint on my medium round brush. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by almost having a backwards question mark. So it's gonna come around down through the middle, and then down on the side. Then my elephant ear, and this can kind of be any shape you want, but I'm gonna have my elephant ear start up off the canvas and it's just gonna kind of squiggle on through. You know, the more organic you can make it, the more realistic it'll be. Organic means that it doesn't really look like it's a even bump along the edge. I'm then gonna add a small rectangle right here where the ear and the trunk meet. with a little point to it, and that's gonna be our tusk. Now over here, I'm also going to have the trunk of my elephant coming up right here. So now we've laid our elephant out, we are gonna go ahead and paint it in white. All the parts that we just made, paint them in white. That way we've got a nice clear background to paint our design on.
Now I want you to let this dry and when we come back, it's time to add our fun details to our elephant. But notice I left this small line here so I could remember where his head was and where his ear was. Now that our background space is dry, we are gonna paint in our elephant and we are gonna make our elephant a light bluish gray color. So to do that, we're gonna take a chunk of white. We wanna have a decent amount of white. You don't wanna to have to run out and try to remix the color. We're gonna add some blue and just a little bit of black. We're gonna mix those colors in to get a nice light bluish gray color. It's a great color. We're gonna paint our entire elephant in. Now, since we have the face of our elephant in, and we're gonna take this time to add a little bit of detail. So I'm gonna drop a couple of black dots right here along the left side of his face. And then I'm just gonna smooth those out to make it a little bit darker while that paint is still wet. And right here, I'm gonna make a space for the eye and all this is gonna be is like a backward curve. I'm just gonna take a couple of black dots and drop them in that area. Again, just kind of smooth that out. I'm gonna switch to white. And for my white, I'm gonna add white up here at the top. I'm just gonna pull that color down towards where his trunk is gonna be. And I'm then gonna add some dots of white along that trunk line. Go ahead and just smooth that out. I want the top of that trunk just a little bit lighter than the sides. Now let's move on to this ear. The ear, we're gonna go ahead and with that same gray color, fill in the whole ear space. And again, as we approach this, this time we're gonna add even more dark. We're okay if the ear is significantly darker I'm gonna make sure that black goes all the way up to his face. I'm gonna pull those colors out together so they blend a little bit. Add a little bit of water on my paintbrush to really kind of make that color blend. We'll take some white at the top of the ear, a lot of white. We're gonna pull that white down on his ear. Curving it as we go. I'm gonna wash my brush off. And I only have a couple little places to finish with this light gray color. So I'm gonna finish his trunk right here, this light gray color. Oops, look what I did, I painted outside the lines. Luckily, that's black, so it's easy to fix.
and then just this little space right here. I'm gonna add a little bit of black to that corner. We're always gonna have those shadows in there so that it looks like there's a shadow on our elephant. I'm gonna fix this black spot right here real quick. I just grab my medium round brush and some black paint just to kind of cover over that oops I made. So the best part of painting is a lot of times you can just fix it by painting over it. All right, let's wash those brushes off real good. Now I'm gonna move back to my medium round brush for a little bit. I'm just gonna add a little bit more detail into my elephant. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of watered down black paint on my brush, right right here where I made this eye. I'm gonna add a couple of skinny little curved lines. We're just gonna follow that eye. They're right on the outside of that darker area. Exact same thing, skinny little, I'm sorry, medium round brush with watered down black paint. And the watered down black paint's the key. That's how you get those wispy lines. I'm gonna go along my trunk and make some curved lines along my trunk. These lines are gonna be all different lengths. Same brush. I'm going to do the same thing along the ears. Wash my brush off, dry my brush off. I'm now going to do the exact same thing with white paint. So again, I'm watering down the paint so that it comes off my brush in kind of a wispy line. And I'm gonna go along my um, trunk and I'm gonna add less lines, but in the same format. I'm also gonna re-outline my tusk line right here. I want that to be a nice bright tusk. Tusk still wet, I'm gonna grab a little bit of that light grayish blue color. Just put a little bit of a second color to the top and the bottom of it. Wash that brush off. Now my elephant eye, I'm gonna use black paint. And it's gonna be right about here. And it's gonna be an oval shape that's pointing down. So what I like to think about is that this is right here is a big smiley face. And up here we've got a big frowny face or a rainbow. Go ahead and paint that shape in. wash off that brush. Let's add some of our wrinkles to our elephant's forehead. I guess I should have done those when I added my lines down here. But same thing, watered down black paint. In both black, and white. With the white saw my brush, I'm gonna do a couple of longer lines on the edge of his ear. A little bit of white line right here on the edge of his tusk. 
Now let's work back on that eye a little bit. We're gonna make a gray color. So I'm gonna take blue paint, I'm sorry, yeah, white paint, just a little bit of black. I'm gonna use this to highlight his eye a little bit. I'm gonna move my camera in. very carefully outlining the edge of his eye. With the back of my brush, add a small dot to the top left part of the eye. with straight white. I'm gonna add just a couple of lines underneath his eye, and a couple just above. Now at this point, if you want your elephant to look a little bit more realistic, this would be a good time to stop and sign your name and send us the picture. But I told you we were gonna make this guy look fun. And right now he looks like a regular elephant. It's time to add some fun. But first I want this background to dry and then be ready to see the next step. I promised you whimsical, so now it's time for that. First things first, let me tell you that if you want to add any extra colors to your art, this is a good time to go ahead and fill up your paint tray right now. But I am gonna show you just how to add a couple fun things to our background as well as our elephant without going too overboard. So I'm going to grab my medium round brush and some purple paint. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna add some detail to the top of the head as well as the ears. So I'm gonna start by adding a curved line right up here at the front. And I'm gonna double that curved line. And from there, I'm going to use the back of my paintbrush to add some polka dots. And I'm gonna do white polka dots right here in the middle of that purple. wash this brush off. Grab the same brush with blue paint and I'm going to make some loops. They're like scallops. bit of a leaf shape at the top. I'm going to go ahead and fill this leaf shape in with green. Fill that leaf shape in with green. Add a little bit of white to it just to give it some highlight. Same thing with the dots, but I'm gonna grab my itty bitty baby paintbrush and I'm gonna add some white dots for detail on my elephant's eye. Now let's look at our elephant ears. Over here, we're gonna add just a few designs just to make it a little bit more fun. I'm gonna stick with this leaf design that we did over here with some purple paint. Right from where the head and the ear meet up, I am going to draw that same design three times. I like to do everything in threes. 
It keeps it interesting for your eye. I'm gonna have to move my easel up a little bit. Now at the end of those, I'm gonna take my finger with some white paint, and put a large circle at the very end. And around that large circle, I could take my paintbrush with some blue paint and put some polka dots. With some blue paint, I put a circle right here at the base of that shape. This time I'll do some white polka dots, go all the way around it. And with my itty bitty baby brush, I'm gonna use some yellow paint and I'm gonna add just a few dots right inside of these. Now you can continue to add as many details as you want on your elephant. Um, sometimes I think that a little bit less is a little more. So I'm gonna stop with the fun details on the head and on the ear, but I am gonna look at this background over here. So I wanna add some fun whimsical elements to this background. So what I'm gonna do is take my medium round brush and a little bit of watered down blue paint. And I'm going to go in and add some elements of swirl. And after I have the blue on there, I'm gonna add a little bit of white. couple little fireflies to this. So I'm going to take my um, back of my medium round brush with some white paint on it. I'm just going to add a couple little spots. And there's fireflies all around him. See how we went from an angry elephant that looked serious to a whimsical elephant who's just out to have fun. When you're finished, make sure you find a color that will show up. Sign your name at the bottom. I always put my initials in the bottom right corner. That way everybody knows who I am. Don't forget to subscribe and like our YouTube channel so that you can be up to date on all of our latest videos. Post your picture to our Painting with a Purpose Facebook page, or you can follow us along on Instagram. It's painting.with.purpose.
a.purpose. Thanks so much for painting with me today.